The Mallet family of Emerson, south of Magnolia in Columbia County, has a multi-generation and rich family legacy of service in FFA. State Senator Bruce Mallet grew up here and has fond memories of learning to love and embrace the farm way of life from his father and grandfather. He became involved in FFA as a young man and served as president of the state officer team and later ran for and was elected secretary of the national officer team. We were, I was raised on the farm and raised ne right next door to my uh, grandmother and grandfather. We raised hay, we did commercial hay baling all over uh, this part of the county for other people and so our summers were spent uh, working on the farm and in uh, the winters uh, feeding the cows and you know checking cows and calving and so it was just a, a natural thing for me to do having the love for agriculture that I had to uh, join the FFA. It's funny how timing sometimes things just click and just work. Our chapter didn't always go to a national convention, but the year I was in ninth grade, Emerson chapter won the state livestock judging contest. And so I got to go to the national convention uh, in the fall of my 10th grade year uh, and compete in the national livestock judging contest. And because of that exposure, that's what really just wowed me. When I sat in the convention of Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City, Missouri, and I saw those national officers down there, and I said then, you know, that's what I want to do. Uh, it, it just really impacted me and got to go again. So I had served uh, as a chapter officer, and by the time I had been to a couple of the national conventions and gotten to my senior year, uh, was ready to run for state office and ran for state president and was fortunately was uh, elected. And then, uh, of course, following that on the national is just something that uh, even today, I just still love. Uh, I love what it does for young people. I love how it prepares them for the future. Parents have to be careful. Uh, and what we tried to do was to expose our kids, but not to have any expectations that they did do what dad did. Uh, but our son, Ryan, our daughter Lauren, our daughter Victoria, all loved FFA. They all exhibited livestock. Uh, Ryan and Victoria were more interested in the leadership side of it. Uh, Lauren in the production agriculture side. Uh, Lauren was a state star farmer. Uh, her year that she got her state degree, uh, Ryan ended up serving as state FFA president. And then uh, Victoria served as state FFA president and then also a national office. But, uh, we felt our role was to expose them and let them make the decisions, uh, but it, it, it grabbed them just like it did me. Today, his granddaughters, Reese and Landry, show animals at county, state, and regional competitions, and Reese is beginning her involvement in her local FFA chapter. Senator Malik and Reese represent three generations of service in FFA in the Malik family and share how it has influenced the family and opened the door to opportunities of service beyond the farm. FFA is just a really fun thing to do, which you can meet other people from everywhere at National Convention, as well as State Convention, you can meet people from just your local state. And then the leadership skills you develop can help you in later in life, which can influence tons more people who weren't in FFA, and you could teach others through the way you act at school and how you can lead at school. Well, I'd like to start as a junior officer just to get going and get involved more and then go to the officer team out of the chapter so I could go to more things and be even more involved and then become state where I can show others leadership skills that I've learned and influence others as well as the national which would also influence others. The things that FFA teaches and even agricultural education teaches regardless of one's uh, where they end up uh, in a job, even agriculture itself expands so much beyond pr production agriculture uh, that uh, jobs are ag related a lot of times that people don't even realize. The lifestyle that we live uh, out on the farm and, and I have an off-farm job and you know, we've been really more about raising kids and raising grandkids uh, than we've been about raising cows, uh, even though we love the cows and Reese loves the pigs. But it's, it's such a quality of life issue for us. And then as far as the future, and particularly being involved in the political process, seeing that we need leaders that can sit down and talk and discuss and even 
when you lose to learn from that. And in the political process, when you win or lose, the other side doesn't have to be the enemy. Uh, you've got to be able to learn to discuss and to develop relationships with people and even and to try to see their side, even if you don't agree. And I think the FFA prepares people for that so much and we're in desperate need of it. But that's the reason I'm optimistic about the future because of the kids that I see at our state convention, because of the 60,000 kids that were in Indianapolis a few weeks ago at national convention. Uh, I, I feel good about the future.